Hey everybody, welcome back to Zero Hour TV 256 and your old buddy Paul. And guess what? That's right. Time for a deck review. And this week we are going to be reviewing the Blue Crown deck. The Blue Crown deck. Take it down to the table for a minute. Okay. Well, All right. What do we get in the blue crown I deck? Won't. Well, let's let's look at the tuck case. It's pretty much a real simple box. Nothing on the inside. Uh, on one side it says United States Playing Card Company, made in the USA. On the bottom it says designed by Fracturized, manufactured by the U.S. United States Playing Card Company, Ireland, Kentucky, made in the USA. Blue Crown. Uh, there's nothing on the top, and in the flap case it says thebluecrown.com. And these are Alex Pandrea decks. Uh, I think the very first one was that he was coming out with. Anyway, um, we're looking at the look at the card back. It's the same as the back of the tuck case. And it is a very pretty colored blue. It is, uh, I like the design on it. It's a couple of crowns uh, sitting on top of a spiral, spiraled out circle with a design in it. I like the borders. They look nice. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, you get a uh, blank face card. Two jokers and an ad card that I don't know what it says. It says thebluecrown.com. Anyhow, that looks cool. So we'll put all this over to the side. We'll fan them out. Um, so zoom in on this. They came in standard order. I uh, opened them up earlier. Played with them for a little bit. You'll see some of that later in the video, hopefully. Uh, the uh, pips and the indices for the regular cards look just like a, a pretty standard pips and indices. That's the Ace of Spades. Looks nice. I mean, it's. Uh, it's kind of fancy looking. It says the Crown Deck, the United States Playing Card Company. I like that. Uh, here's the Jack of Diamonds. Let me go in here and see if I can find the, some of the court cards. There's your Jack of Diamonds. Jack of what? Jack, uh, Queen of Diamonds and the King of Diamonds. Are you being attacked by something over there? <laughs> We can pause the video while you fend off whatever it is that's getting it. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Let's see. The clubs. Our dogs are being I'm going to have to say these, uh, they kind of have an Arco look to the, to the, the um, to the, the suit cards. If you don't know what that is, look it up. There's the uh, Ace of Diamonds. Just look like Ace of Hearts. Ace. Ace of Clubs. Now those look like normal Aces from a normal deck. <laughs> they do look like normal Aces from a normal deck. I mean, there's nothing out of the ordinary about them. Darn. Uh, let's see. There's the Hearts. There we go. Oh, really? You're nothing special? I, I wouldn't say there's anything crazy special about the uh, pips and indices. Like I said, if you look at the uh, if you look at the court cards, 
they are a little bit different looking. They're not like what you would call a standard look. There is a what they call an Arco look. Yeah. You'd have to look it up to know the difference, but it kind of, kind of to me, it's a more of a like a old retro look, a little bit older looking faces of what we're normally used to seeing. And now you want to know how they feel. Well, we shot a whole section of video about that, and we're gonna show that now. Shut up, you stupid dog. <laughs> We're going to show that in the uh, in the video now, and I will talk about the ad, color, ad copy, and then we'll come back for some final thoughts. See ya. See ya. The Blue Crown Deck. Simplicity meets elegance. The Crown Deck is the signature deck of the Blue Crown, designed to evoke quality, elegance, and style. The Crown Deck has a Tally Ho inspired back design and Arco faces to offer a timeless appeal. Top quality stock and finish for ultimate handling and longevity. Each Crown Deck is printed by the U.S. Playing Card Company using high quality stock and finish to ensure lasting quality, durability, and handling superiority. The result is a deck that feels as good as it looks and will add a touch of class to your magic, flourishes, and poker games. Final thoughts on the Blue Crown deck from our buddies over there at Blue Crown and Alex Pandrea. Uh, I had a chance to play around with them and toss them around a little bit. And uh, I'll be honest with you, the way they feel in your hands, they're uh, they're 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 just a different feel. They're not what I like in my USPC cushioned uh, air cushioned decks. Cause this is not an air cushioned deck. It's like a, it just has that rough edge feel to it, and uh, kind of stiff. You know, I have, I have a hard time making them spring, but that could just be because I'm. I'm not a code good at springing cards anyway, and I haven't played with them in a while. So, anywho. Uh, my final thoughts are, they're a good deck, they're okay, but... I'm not going to say that you shouldn't get them, but they're not the deck for me. So we'll uh, continue on with a series of the, of the uh, Crown Deck reviews, and we'll see what happens from here. So you guys, we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. Um, we're still waiting on... You know, trying to come up with an idea because it used to be judo karate the notification bell crane kick crane kick the notification bell crane kick the notification <laughs> bell just like the karate kid but see we'll probably get hit with some kind of copyright thing oh, seeing as how uh, the, you know YouTube's got their own show called Cobra Kai now which is awesome you should check totally totally check it out oh. and, you know even if you can only like Become a YouTube Premium member for the when that show comes out, binge watch it, and then turn it off. 
it's worth the ten dollars or nineteen dollars or whatever it is a month just for that one month so you can just binge watch the crap out of that show because it's awesome. Put put down in the comments but what anyway, you think we should say. Yeah, I've already I've, I've done a couple of videos like that where I'm asking people what their opinion should be for uh, hitting it with a hammer or something. But anyway, I feel like I'm just like rambling on and on and on and on and on and on and so. I'm going to stop now. So, we will see you guys next time on Zero Hour TV 256. Later.